This is going to be a guide to help you all with Senadina into the Elysian Realm. And we're going to be looking over the things that you do need to pick up in regards to her signature blessings and also the blessings overall, just to make your run very easy. And honestly, Senadina in Elysian Realm, in this version of it, or this season of Elysian Realm, is absolutely strong. She is going to decimate everything in your way in regards to just evaporating their HP so that you don't have to worry that much. It's a really fast clear, especially with the right blessings. And we are going to be needing three buffs which are the 215s and also the zero the 215s are just going to help us with extra damage for Sinadina when it comes to the Elysian realm and then the same thing with the zero buff we are getting this so that we do get the lightning vulnerable shield which Sinadina is going to go after which makes this a lot easier also we're going to go with the corruption difficulty because this is all you need to get all the rewards that you need for the Elysian realm so this is the difficulty we are going to be running this on and the two supports that we are going to be bringing is going to be Azur Imperia and Rita and we're also going to be using the two vil v artifacts or the two bonuses that we get which is the pseudo miracle and also the falling in past light this is going to make it so that the active skills that we're going to be using multiple times with cinadinia and her combo are going to charge up that big, big explosion that you get and also because the buffs that vil v gives to cinadina are absolutely monumental when it comes to the damage boost we're going to be getting and when it comes to the signature blessing that you're going to want for cinadina we are going to want to get the initial drawing which is going to be the first blessing you do definitely want to pick up once you get this first set of blessings that Alicia gives you because this will clear your overheat drive and make it so that it's non-existent so you always have your damage coming out no matter what you don't have to wait for the bar to come back for to do your combo you can just do your ultimate evasion which is for Senadina just doing your dash into an attack which you'll see multiple times in the gameplay and this erases the bar from at the bottom allowing you to do your combo and allowing you to do a lot more damage a lot more sooner so you definitely want to pick up this initial drawing on your first blessing that you get making it a lot easier to do all the damage that you possibly need and then also the next one going to be the stellar drive which is going to give you another ultimate evasion when it, you do your ultimate or your stellar outburst which is going to give you a charge which again helps you with your bar keeping your damage up and not having to worry about that overheat drive and then lastly the only other one you would want is the blessing of increment this one just makes it a little bit easier to do a little bit more damage when you get your domain resonance mark out after the stellar outburst the others can be great with the effort the effortlessness and also sudden thunderbolt but to the point where you're not really going to always get three signature blessings every single run so those three that i mentioned are going to be the strongest ones with the initial drawing definitely being the one you want to pick up on your first go when you do go for the blessings that you are going to be looking for you definitely want to go look for helix which is the vil v blessing which is going to help her damage by a lot when it comes to the weapon skills and then you do want the second blessing or the one that pulls in all the enemies in one go when you use your weapon active just because it does help a lot with the grouping and making clears super super fast the next one you're going to want to look for is the stars just because grisio's blessings work very well with how senadina plays going into the ultimate evasion the ultimate and also the weapon active making it all synergize very well and you do want the second blessing again which gives blending which opens the assortment of different buffs that you get from combining all of these which you are going to be doing a lot at a time and then the last one which you can go for as well as they go on is going to be set sooner because again as we have the ultimate evasion charges we are going to be playing around them a lot and if you do get enough to build out the set sooner core then you are going to go for the first blessing or the one that basically copies the damage you do and then give you elemental breach which is going to help you do a lot more damage other blessings that you can go for are going to be vicitude which is fuhua's blessing bodai which is sue's blessing because she does hit quite a bit in her combos and also deliverance because why not get the ultimate buff the other ones aren't really wanted but if there are some blessings that can help with like mobius and other resources as well that come from those blessings so for the most part these are the ones you are going to be looking for i will be showcasing off the run so that you can watch it in full and basically have fun with that in learning how we to play with Senadina, especially in the Elysian realm with the blessings I gave you and also the exclusive ones that you want to look out for.